I have a passion for motorcycles because I love, above all, I love the ride. In the modern world, we're constantly locked in boxes, in cages, in functions, in duties, and being on a bike allows you to just go away for miles. You don't have to come back, you don't have to stop anywhere, you can keep going, and you're out there in the elements. You're, it's just a very honest thing to do. The feeling is that you are entirely part of the of the machine. You are part of the steering. So I like I like that. I like being involved. I decided to go into fabrication because I personally believe in hands-on engineering. I would say I'm a maker by nature. I, I like making things. So to me it was like a natural thing to do. I chose metal as a medium because I have always been into engineering, I've always been into cars and motorcycles, so it was for me the natural progression to then start fabricating out of metal. I always wanted to be a designer. When I was the age of 16, I wanted to become a car designer actually. I wanted to design cars and I remember having pencils and notepads and sketching car body works and etc. So I already had this kind of sense of aesthetic in mind and there's nothing better to me than to be able to actually design, make something looks good and actually fabricate it. So you understand the beauty, the aesthetic and the functionality. When you are a bit obsessive about a project, you want to have somehow control on everything. I have a clear idea of what I want and I think there's no better person than myself to actually make it. I get my influences from art, from crafts, all sorts of art and crafts. I get my influences from architecture, even from nature, from, from other engineering fields such as you know, aeronautical, for example. Anything I find around me is inspiration and I translate it into my work. I have a certain style in the way I, I, I design but I don't think that this style is um, set. Uh, this is something to me which evolves. I think the beauty in metal fabrication is when you combine um, traditional methods and modern technology. I think that's where I find balance and I think balance is important in the work. Traditional methods are kind of, might appear to be a bit primitive, but it's the most, I would say, tactile part of the work which I really like. It's the sensations, the feeling, it's a third dimension you're adding to your work. Obviously you have a visual, but the process to me matters a lot. Quality to me doesn't necessarily mean that it's absolutely perfect. Sometimes imperfections are part of quality. Imperfection in a handmade piece uh, is also a way of showing the process. My favourite tool is, is that one here. That's my favourite, that's my little baby. I know it might sound a bit weird and strange for some people, but you know, when, when you work on your own in your workshop, on your own, you start talking to yourself, so maybe a sign of madness, I don't know, but I do like this one. People who work with, uh, with hand tools understand that. There's, there's, you always have your favourites. You can have a whole set of hammers, but you always ultimately end up using the same one. And it's also it's got a nice shape, um, which is perfect for very intricate work, which is what I do, really. It's always handmade and very, very complex shapes, and you can achieve a lot of shapes and things with this one. So I like it a lot. I need a daily routine. I think that's part of my process, um, the way I work. In order to be creative and to do what I do, I need to be in a certain mindset, mind frame, um, which I can't get into really easily. So it's important for me when I come to the workshop to kind of do this kind of, I would say maybe a ritual in some ways. As I enter the workshop, I do the same things every day the same way. I've got my coffee in the morning, I check my mails, I prepare my day, I just draw the lines, know exactly what I'm going to do, and then I start work. But I need to go through all those different steps during the day to then slowly get into this mind mindset and then start work. I have my routines. 
which usually start with a coffee. <laughs> When you build a bike, it's very important to get this continuity and, and coherence between, between elements and components. And it has to look good, it has to look well balanced, you no know, elegance of form, everything needs to look beautiful, nicely balanced in proportions. The most satisfying part is the design phase, is when you come up with an idea, you come up with a concept and you nail it, you know that's what you want to do. If you're talking about the assembly, it's to me the best moment is when I've managed to physically create something which I had in mind, something which looks exactly like the way I wanted it. That's the satisfaction. Where do I see myself in the future? I think I, think I am where I, where I want to be. I am here, I'm in the moment, in the workshop. That's where I want to be.